Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is Excellence in Agriculture. <clears throat> Behind me you can see where I have the cows in a grazing cell. And those of you who have been doing this, I know you're going to say that they've been in there too long. And they have been. And that's why I'm going to move them. And I just wanted to do a video about how I do that. And today happened to be the day that I could record it. Um, I've been experimenting. We invested in some polybraid uh, electric fence wire and some Gallagher step-in posts. Uh, I have a review coming that, of that coming out, but I had some sound issues, so you'll see those videos eventually. They're just in the editing nightmare process. But I uh, hope this video can help you, show you how we're doing it. If you are doing this, I'd love to see what you guys do different down in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up. And we'll go at it. It looks like they're going to move themselves. First, I got to move them up here so they don't get out on me as I'm moving wire because I don't have enough reels. I already see you can't have too many of them. And well, let's just go do it. Well, that's how I pull the posts up. I have not found a good way to roll the wire up while driving the four-wheeler just because it's kind of a two-handed deal. I did try it with the golf cart since that has a foot accelerator, but it seemed like if you got ahead too far, then the wires get too loose, and that gives you a big he headache later. So it's a short distance, these cells. I find it's just easier and quicker just to walk and roll them up. I'm sure somebody's figured out a way so you can drive and roll up. I'll maybe do that someday, but for now, I'm just going to walk and roll, and that's how I do it. I'm as you can see, you can just walk and roll as you go along. And it's about the right speed as you wind it up with that 3 to 1, but you can also jog along and keep right up as you can see.
Okay, just to show you guys what I did here, I got the main post for the corner. And now all you do is you slip the, the end of the post over the rod and then it'll come right up. And then you can stick it down and brace it and I'm bracing it for the wire going this way and one bracing for that way. And then I hung the reel on here and I put that guy there just to help hold this up, the reel up a little bit better. The reason I ended up doing this instead of going back down to where we were is because this grass over here on this side of the hill is kind of, like I said, this was grazed heavily this spring, kind of right, right when the grass was starting to grow and it, it, it needs to recover. Um, so I just came and I turned on my cell, made a corner there, I need to go brace that, and then for this cell right here. And yes, this has been overgrazed. The way it should look, it's like I did over here. This cell was a little bit smaller than the last one, and they were in here for over 48 hours. Um, probably close to 60 hours. See, I found some wire I need to clean up. Um, this, is, this, isn't, this is grazed down too much. I mean, it'll come back. It's early enough in the year and we got 4200s last night. So this'll spring back. But this is the cell they were in before. They were put in here on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. And they were in there for 24 hours. And as you can see, there's a lot more forage here than in that last cell. If you look way over that one, they were also in there a little bit too long, the last cell, than this one. There again, they were in there for over two days. For the number of cows I've got right now and the size of the cells I was making, I need to do it once a day. Ideally, you should do this twice a day. That's the way the professionals do it. But we are just learning and you are learning with me. So. Make it look like that, not like that. This is what YouTube is for, so you can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Invaluable tool when you're doing anything uh, with electric fence is one of these testers. You just have your ground and you hook this on your fence and it'll tell you how many volts you'll have. And you know the longer the length of your fence you know the more resistance and more voltage drop you have and this can help you monitor to see uh, how much you have. And so that's how I move my cell grazing. Um, I'm still learning. This is my first year doing this, but that's how I do it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sure we'll be doing more videos of me moving fence as we go throughout this year, as we pursue excellence here on, on our place. And that's what this is all about, is excellence in agriculture. You know, we're all working towards more being more excellent in everything we do so i hope and that's probably what you're up to too whether that's farming ranching modern homesteading we, we do it all here it's hard to put myself into a box we i can't i don't really fit into any category by itself we do a little bit of everything this is excellence in ranching and proper grass management the old school way of just dumping a pile of cows into one big pasture and not touching them till fall. Yeah, that can work. But if you do cell grazing, you can double your numbers on that same amount of acreage. You're not having, you don't necessarily have to move them twice a day. Some people do it once a week. Some people do it every other day. Some, my goal is to do it every day. And that seems to work okay. I can see we're doing it twice a day. It would be a little bit better. Um, I've just got too many other irons in the fire to do that. Doing once a day is hard enough. As you saw, they were out there for 
over 48 hours and my cell was on the small side to start with and they overgrazed it. Um, another thing I wanted to point out here where you can see it's really beat down, eight down, excuse me, where we chase them up to start with, this alleyway is where we're planning on planting trees next year. Um, it was supposed to be sprayed with Roundup to kill the grass down. A uh, neighbor of mine was going to come over and spray that and he got busy apparently and it didn't get done and so this was all grown up so I set this up so they're always going up this alley to the water and they're eating it down. Um, when we're done grazing all of this behind me then I'll put them on here one last time on this alley until it's eight down to nothing. Hopefully I can get it sprayed at that point. In theory with it grazed down that much I could break it. Um, I know I'll be fighting the grass and whatnot. It'd be best if we could get it sprayed, but the plan is is to plant a shelter belt here. Are the cows really don't have that much shelter? That's why those bales are over there, just so that there is a windbreak. I don't like stacking my bales pyramid style, but I needed a windbreak, so that's what I do. Um, more videos on the way. I hope to get this content up pretty quickly. And as you can see, I'm back to recorded wire. Uh, trying to wire this mic with my editing software has been a bit of a nightmare. I need an upgrade, but hopefully we'll get those videos up soon. That's why it's been a while. But trust me, there's videos on the way. I'm just busy doing my thing. So we're glad to have you along for the ride. Remember to subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Again, my name's John. This is Excellence in Agriculture. We'll see you next time. What did you find? A bird?